welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great week and are doing really well. I am so happy to be sitting in front of the camera again today. I feel like I've been vlogging so much and have been back and forth. It's nice to have a tripod and some lighting and all the normal stuff because I have a really, really exciting haul for you today and I couldn't even wait so I opened it before starting. But in case you were wondering, this is what we're gonna open together. That is really heavy, by the way. I scored huge on Black Friday for ASOS, and one of the things I ended up buying that I didn't get to use for this order, but I'm sure I'll be using in the future, is actually their unlimited two-day shipping for a year. It's $19 for the year. Considering how much I order from ASOS and how used to Amazon Prime I am, it kind of just made sense for me to do, so I will let you guys know how that's going as I continue to order stuff from them, which I'm sure I will. Really quick, if you're new to my channel and you've never been here before, welcome and thank you for clicking on. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below because it'll notify you every time I put out a new video and make sure you like this video if you do in fact like it so I know to keep creating content like this for you guys. So without further ado, I will start the haul with the first thing that I wanted to wear in this video, so I had to take out of the bag. It's this adorable little top from Boohoo. It says J'adore, as you can see. So I love these little slogan tees lately. I think they're so cute and really easy to wear with so many different things. Um, I'd probably pair it with a pair of high-waist denim and a cute belt, something along those lines, than like my statement color for the holidays, so I've definitely been buying a lot of stuff in red. And yeah, I just thought this one was super cute. Um, it looks great tucked into like a pair of jeans or you can wear it a little bit looser out, maybe with some fitted trousers. But anyway, I just think it's so cute. It looks good on everybody and it's super, super, super easy to wear. If you don't have a t-shirt like this in your wardrobe too, I'm sure you have something similar. Okay, what should I show you next? I'm just grabbing everything that's in reach the most. So uh, as you can see, like I said, I'm having a red moment. So I saw this teddy bear coat from Boohoo on ASOS and I just like thought it was so fun. Um, I will say a few quick little things about it. First of all, these red fuzzies have gotten all over this t-shirt that I'm wearing. So keep a lint brush nearby if you do decide to get it. Also, so the inside looks like this, and it is not the warmest coat, but it's definitely fun. Um, I think for the rest of December, I'll be able to get some wear out of it, um, kind of just thrown over maybe like long sleeve options, things like that. And also, I just want to point out there are no closures on this jacket, so it's kind of more like a heavy duty cardigan, I think if you will. But I love the color. Teddy bear coats, if you haven't noticed, are huge at the moment. Um, I am Gia, the label makes a really cute one. I've also been seeing them in like Topshop and kind of all the high street places. So if you're looking for that kind of coat, um, maybe just get one that's a little bit warmer if you're not that into this kind of statement. But yeah, oh, this is so, I just want it to like, I, when this bag came looking like a pillow, I knew that this was probably the reason that was happening. So definitely can't wait to play around with this coat. Okay, moving on to some knitwear. This is by Jacqueline de Young, I think you say, um, that they carry on ASOS. I'll link everything, by the way, below in the description box. If I can't find the exact item, I'll always try to link something similar. But I don't really own any turtlenecks, and let me tell you why I really like this one. It is super, super light knit, so you can A, layer it, and B, I get really hot a lot of the time, so it's much better for me to have kind of a more lightweight knit, and I think this looks so cute, either tucked into a pair of jeans or maybe worn with some more like oversized culotte pants I think would be so cute, and under a leather jacket. I mean, there are kind of limitless ways to style knits in the winter, but those those are just some of the ones I can think of off the top of my head and it's also kind of like this nice neutral light charcoal gray color which I feel like is huge right now I've been seeing a lot of it everywhere especially for accessories I'm also looking for a beret in this color so if any of you have any leads on that definitely let me know in the comments but yeah this is just like kind of a classic can't go wrong with winter piece so I'm definitely excited to get some more wear out of this 
I tried really hard not to get my foundation on anything, but it looks like I did not do well with this, but I will show you anyway and attempt to hide it as best I can. So this is kind of a mock neck jersey dress and it's from the ASOS range, like regular old ASOS. They have their own brand if you didn't know. Yeah, when I put it on, I just felt so chic and there aren't too many things. I feel like my style has geared a little more comfy lately, but I put this on and was like, ooh, girl, you are chic. It has kind of a little mock neck detail up here and then it kind of just goes into a slight A-line skirt, which is really cute. The jersey is very tight fitting, like very like snug to your skin. So I'd say probably true to size if you like a little more breathing room, maybe size up in that case. But I, you can never really go wrong with like a little black dress, especially for winter. I always like to kind of update my wardrobe with one new silhouette and the mock neck has definitely been a big thing this year. So this was my pick for my updated LBD for winter 2017. So yeah, this is just so easy. I can't really say too much more about it, but if you're looking for a new little black dress, this might be something you wanna consider. Okay, I'm gonna throw in the two pieces now that I was kind of on the fence about, and I'll tell you why. This one I didn't even actually get to film a try on for you because of how weirdly it fit me. So it's this polka dot dress from Berkshire, and it's a wrap dress, and it's like both too deep V'd and also too high up in the wrap part. And the shoulders were also super tight on me, so I couldn't really move around that much. And I couldn't find, I tried taping it, I tried going braless. I was gonna try to at least show you what it looked like. Maybe I'll try to pop in a photo here if I've learned how to do that yet. Um, but it just wasn't working for me. And I'm very disappointed because I have a, kind of the reverse of this dress. I have a white dress with black polka dots from Topshop that I've really been loving and wearing a lot this winter. So I was kind of hoping to kind of get the alternative, but I think I'm going to return this and keep an eye out for a different option. If you know of any, definitely let me know in the comments. And the next thing that was just a little bit disappointing, and this is just my fault because I ordered the wrong range. So I ordered from ASOS Tall, and while I am 5'7", I more often than not do not fit their tall clothes. But if you know me at all, you know I love anything burgundy and I love a jumpsuit. So when I saw this one, I really wanted it for like holiday parties and stuff. So it has kind of a cutout right above your stomach, so right here, and it's high-waisted and has like a peg leg cut to it. And then the sleeves are these really billowy, beautiful like Oh, just like winter angel like sleeves. So I'll show you how I have it on. Um, I actually pulled it really high up because otherwise again the V is kind of too deep for me and I think I'm just look like I'm drowning in fabric a little bit but I am definitely going to hop back on the website and see if I can find this in not the tall range because I love the idea of it. I put it on and was like oh this is so close to being bright it just needs to be slightly more like in and fitted and I'm sure that it will be if I find it in the normal range. And to end on a high note, I wanna talk about one of my favorite things that I got from this haul, which is this, it looks kind of like chiffon, it is polyester if you are a fabric freak and want to know those things. And floral print, high necked, flowy top. So, oh my God, where do I even begin? I saw it on the model actually and ASOS Styling, whoever did that, great job because you sold me on it. I saw it kind of like tucked into high-waisted pair of jeans and I thought that was so cute and I realized that I actually have these high-waisted velvet pants from Mango which I'm styling them with in this clip um, that I thought would be perfect with it so I did kind of a little half tuck at the front I also think it's cute if you just leave it out and let it kind of flow and have that more like um, flowy shape to you or if you want to tie it in a knot that's also a cute way to style it and what I love about this is there's kind of enough going on with the pattern and stuff that if you just have a cute bralette, you can totally wear it with that. If you want to be a bit more conservative, a black camisole will be totally great under it as well. So yeah, and I like that it's not my usual, I just realized the sleeve is inside out. I like that it's not my usual colors that I go to for florals. Usually I go for really dark florals, like burgundy colors and um, kind of deeper greens, but this is um, pink, yellow, and kind of like a lighter green slash turquoise blue, and there's also some purple in there. So I thought that was a nice way to kind of add a little bit of more color into my wardrobe without actually, you know, wearing too much of the color all at once. I like that it has a black background. So yeah, you will definitely see me in this in the upcoming weeks, especially for the holidays. 
And there you have it. That's everything I got on Black Friday from ASOS. And I'm very excited now for this two day shipping because even waiting like a week felt like too long because I was so excited to get everything. So if you want to watch any of my other hauls, I'll make sure I link them in the description box. And thank you guys again for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. I don't think I said this throughout the video, but pretty much every single thing I got, actually, correction, every single thing I got, I ordered in the size small, if anyone was wondering. I hope you have an awesome rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!